Now we're going to move on to another incredibly powerful archetype, so it's very appropriate that it keeps raining and storming out there. In fact, he's called the dark god, Karpasami. He comes like a storm, literally. <laughs> I was just reading last night again, he comes like a storm in order to wash away all the troubles in your life. So again, his name is Karpasami. Those of you that are Tamil, this is not difficult to say, but for those of you, you have to get used to the pronunciation, Karpasami. And he is known, literally, as the dark god. He is a very fierce warrior god. And you should have a visual image of his form. He rides on a white horse. He's very fierce, he has a big mustache, many ornaments on his body, and he always carries a sword, which is a drawn out sword. Riding on a white horse. With the sword. He's actually a village deity. Those of you that actually go back to India, you may have seen Karpasami at the outskirts of the village. He's also in Malaysia, right? Are some of you from Malaysia originally? You've seen Karpasami is there, right? You have many Karpasamis in Malaysia. Karpasami is in Sri Lanka. So uh, Karpasami has been around for a long time, but a lesser known god. He's known as a village god. And uh, the villagers all believe that he is the one that is going to protect them. He's a great protector and a great guardian. And he will punish all evildoers. His predominant trait is that he will bring about justice. If justice needs to be done to people that are doing evil or negative acts, Karpasami will bring about justice. He will bring about justice in your life if someone is wronging you or blaming you in any way. He will bring about justice. He's a totally righteous God. So he's completely righteous. He upholds Dharma. Now Dr. Pillai has been talking a lot about Karpasami this year. And he has had many personal experiences with Karpasami. He's greatly empowering this god in order to take a very predominant role in 2011 leading into the Golden Age. And what he loves about Karpasami is that Karpasami is a performer. He does not like to just talk, he <coughs> likes to get things done. And he will do it very fast. So please always remember this dark god, he is a performer. So when you call upon Karpasami, Karpasami likes you to ask him to do things for you, specific deeds for you. If someone is blaming you for something that you didn't do, maybe at your workplace, in your home, justice shall be done by Karpasami. If uh, anyone is wronging you in any kind of a way, he can set right any wrong. Whatever is not right in your life, he will turn around that situation. He will bring justice no matter what. So you need to actually ask him. In fact, uh, Dr. Pillai has expressed that uh, Karpasami gets irritated if people don't ask him. He wants to be asked. You must demand, Karpasami, you know that in this situation, this person is wronging me. Justice shall be done. Let justice be done. You're not asking him to harm that person, you're asking, let justice be done. You are the righteous one, you know what is right. Let me be righteous like you are righteous. So he is a performer and he likes to act 
fast. He doesn't believe in waiting around. And he is, he will get things done immediately. 